Hi, thank you for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai-based Microsoft Certified Professional, and this video is about Microsoft PowerPoint. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how to display slide X of Y in a PowerPoint presentation. So basically, on all the slides, I should be able to see the current slide number as well as the total number of slides in that presentation. So in this example, I've got a simple uh, blank presentation, which has got five slides, as you can see on the screen. So on the first slide, I should be able to see slide number one of five. Here in the second one, I should be able to see slide number two of five. Here on the third slide, I should be able to see slide number three of five and so on for the remaining slides as well. So now this seems to be a pretty straightforward task. Okay, I may want to come to my insert tab in the PowerPoint ribbon and access this feature or this option called insert slide number from the text group. So if I do that, I get this dialogue which says header and footer and then I can apply a tick mark on this square box next to slide number and I can apply this to all. So that's it. You can see the slide number has been displayed here. If you can see my blinking circles, I can also zoom in on the screen. Yep, this is where on the top right, I've got the uh, slide number. Same applies to the second slide also. Yep, this is my second slide and here is where I have my slide number two. But Remember, my requirement was to show slide number one of five, not just slide number one, okay? Not just the slide number, I also wanted to see the total number of slides. So let's see how we can do this, okay? Now, first of all, I may want to go back to this insert slide number option and remove this selection, apply to all, okay? Now, let's do this by slide master, via slide master, okay? So I click on the view tab in my PowerPoint ribbon, I go to the slide master feature. Yeah. Then I access the very first slide in this slide master. Remember, I also have got this slide master tab now, which is a contextual tab. It's going to be there till the time I am in the slide master. Okay. So now within this slide master, I'm going to click on insert. Yeah. And I can go to the text group like I did last time. And before I access this this feature or this command or this option called insert slide number let's come to this insert text box okay so i come here and draw a text box somewhere here in my slide on the very first slide of this slide master okay and my cursor is still blinking in the, the text box as you can see on the screen okay now keeping the cursor blinking in my text box I will again go to the insert tab and this time again from the text group I will select insert slide number. Now when I do that you will notice that there is this hash symbol which has been displayed. This hash is going to be my slide number, the current slide number. Okay. Now I can come to the extreme beginning of this uh, text box and say slide. Okay. Slide. All right. So then it will pick up slide one or slide two and all that. Okay. And then I also wanted to display the the total number of slides. So I can say slide number uh, of five. Yeah. I know there are five slides in my current presentation. So I will need to manually enter five. Now, remember, PowerPoint currently does not have the feature by the virtue of which it is going to automatically automatically pick up the total number of slides. So this has to be done manually. All right. That's it. I now maybe I can also just uh, move this on the extreme uh, uh, top right. OK, uh, let's just delete this. It, it just uh, has uh, th there's this text box here which only displays the slide number like we saw last time so I'll delete that okay and this one this text box can be moved somewhere here maybe okay or maybe I can position this somewhere else also at the bottom okay that depends on your requirement right now I'm just placing it here on the top right okay that's it I now click on the slide master tab from the ribbon and then close master view remember you can only close master view when you click on the slide master tab Okay, you cannot be on the home tab or the insert tab or the draw tab or the transitions tab to be able to close the master view has to be your, your mouse, your selection, your, uh, you know, you have to be inside the slide master tab to be able to close master view. That's it. It's done. Now I'm back to my presentation and you can see it shows slide number one of five. 
right? Let's look at the second one. Yes, it shows slide number two of five. Let's go into the full screen mode also. And yep, yeah, check it out. See, it shows two of five. Move on. Let's move on. Okay, three of five, four of five, five of five. So yes, the slide X of Y, which I wished to display in on all the slides of my presentation has been achieved. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice one.